Hello, and welcome back to the Southern Bible Thumper channel. For this upload, we will be reading Numbers chapter 3. These also are the generations of Aaron and Moses in the day the Lord spake with Moses in Mount Sinai, and these are the names of the sons of Aaron. Nadab the firstborn, and Abihu, Eleazar, and Ithamar, these are the names of the sons of Aaron, the priests which were anointed, whom he consecrated to minister in the priest's office. And Nabhab and Abihu died before the Lord, when they offered strange fire before the Lord in the wilderness of Sinai, and they had no children. And Eleazar and Ithamar ministered in the priest's office in the sight of Aaron their father. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Bring the tribe of Levi near, and present them before Aaron the priest, that they may minister unto him, and they shall keep his charge in the charge of the whole congregation before the tabernacle of the congregation to do the service of the tabernacle. And they shall keep all the instruments of the tabernacle of the congregation in the charge of the children of Israel to do the service of the tabernacle. And thou shalt give the Levites unto Aaron and to his sons, they are wholly given unto him out of the children of Israel. And thou shalt appoint Aaron and his sons, and they shall wait on their priest's office, and the stranger that cometh nigh shall be put to death. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, And I, behold, I have taken the Levites from among the children of Israel, instead of all the firstborn that openeth the matrix among the children of Israel. Therefore the Levites shall be mine, because all the firstborn are mine, for on the day that I smote all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, I hallowed unto me all the firstborn in Israel, both man and beast. Mine shall they be, I am the Lord." And the Lord spake unto Moses in the wilderness of Sinai, saying, Number the children of Levi, after the house of their fathers, by their families, every male from a month old and upward, shalt thou number them. And Moses numbered them according to the word of the Lord, as he commanded. And these were the sons of Levi, by their names, Gershon and Kohath and Merari. And these are the names of the son of Gershon, by their families, Libni and Shimei, and the sons of Kohath, by their families, Amram, and Ezihar, Hebron, and Uziel, and the sons of Merai by their families, Mahli, and Mushi. These are the families of the Levites, according to the house of their fathers. Of Gershon was the family of the Libanites, and the family of the Shemites. These are the families of the Gershonites, those that were numbered of them, according to the number of all the males from a month old and upward. Even those that were numbered of them were 7,500, the families of the Gershonites shall pitch behind the tabernacle westward, and the chief of the house of the father of the Gershonites shall be Elisaphath, the son of Lael. And the charge of the sons of Gershon and the tabernacle of the congregation shall be the tabernacle and the tent, the covering thereof, and the hanging for the door of the tabernacle of the congregation, and the hangings of the court, and the curtain for the door of the court, which is by the tabernacle, and by the altar round about and the cords of it for all the service thereof. And of Kohath was the family of the Amramites, and the family of the Iziharites, and the family of the Hebronites, and the family of the Uzielites. These are the families of the Kohathites. In the number of all the mills from a month old and upward were 8,600, keeping the charge of the sanctuary. The families of the sons of Kohath shall pitch on the side of the tabernacle southward, and the chief of the house of the father of the families of the Kohathites shall be the <laughs> Elizaphan, the son of Uziel, and their charge shall be the ark, and the table, and the candlestick with the, and the altars, and the vessel of the sanctuary <laughs> wherewith they minister, and the hanging, and all the service thereof. And Eleazar, the son of Aaron, the priest, shall be chief over the chief of the Levites, and have the oversight of them that keep the charge of the sanctuary. Of Merari was the family of the Malites and the family of the Mushites. These are the families of Merari. And those that were numbered of them, according to the number of all the males, from a month old and upward, were 6,200. And the chief of the house of the father of the families of Merari was Zuriel, the son of Abihel, these shall pitch on the side of the tabernacle northward, and under the custody and charge of the sons of Merari shall be the boards of the tabernacle, and the bars thereof, and the pillars thereof, and the sockets thereof, and all the vessels thereof, and all that serveth thereto. 
and the pillars of the court round about, and their sockets, and their pins, and their cords. But those that encamp before the tabernacle toward the east, even before the tabernacle of the congregation eastward, shall be Moses and Aaron and his sons, keeping the charge of the sanctuary for the charge of the children of Israel. And the stranger that cometh nigh shall be put to death. All that were numbered of the Levites, which Moses and Aaron numbered at the commandment of the Lord throughout their families, all the males from a month old and upward, were twenty and two thousand. And the Lord said unto Moses, Number all the firstborn of the males of the children of Israel from a month old and upward, and take the number of their names. And thou shalt take the Levites for me, I am the Lord, instead of all the firstborn among the children of Israel, and the cattle of the Levites, instead of all the firstlings among the cattle of the children of Israel. And Moses numbered. As the Lord commanded him, all the firstborn among the children of Israel, and all the firstborn males by the number of names from a month old and upward of those that were numbered of them were at twenty-two thousand two hundred and three score and thirteen. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Take the Levites instead of all the firstborn among the children of Israel, and the cattle of the Levites instead of their cattle, and the Levites shall be mine. I am the Lord. And for those that are to be redeemed of the two hundred and three score and thirteen of the firstborn of the children of Israel, which are more than the Levites, thou shalt even take five shekels apiece by the pole after the shekel of the sanctuary, shalt thou take them, the shekel is twenty geras, and thou shalt give them money wherewith the odd number of them is to be redeemed unto Aaron and to his sons. And Moses took the redemption money of them that were over and above them that were redeemed by the Levites. Of the firstborn of the children of Israel took he the money, a thousand three hundred and three score and five shekels, after the shekel of the sanctuary. And Moses gave the money of them that were redeemed unto Aaron and to his sons, according to the word of the Lord, as the Lord commanded Moses. Summarizing Numbers chapter 3. This is a record of the generations of Aaron and Moses, when God spoke to Moses on Mount Sinai. In verse 2, the Bible says Aaron had four sons. In verse 4, two of Aaron's sons died after offering strange fire to the Lord. This is an occurrence that happened in Leviticus chapter 10, verse 2, uh, but it's being referenced here in this chapter in verse 4. These two sons that died, they had no children. A note that I made here was that strange fire could have been a literal supernatural strange fire, or this could have been an extremely flammable substance that was lit and uh, it ignited and it caused a spectacular event. During this time, they may not have known the difference, but I don't want to discredit either because it could have been literal supernatural fire. Verse five and six, God tells Moses to allow Aaron to serve as leader of the Levites. Um, and the Levites was mentioned, this was mentioned in Numbers chapter 1, verse 50, as the people responsible for tending to the portable tabernacle. Verse 7 through 8, the Levites are to do the work of the tabernacle. Verse 9, Aaron and his sons are appointed over the Levites. The Levites should guard them. Any approaching stranger should be put to death. Verse 12, God has taken the Levites as the firstborn of Israel. In verse 13, God recants the significance of the firstborn of the Israelites and their animals, referencing the plague that God sent to kill all the firstborn in Egypt. God specially blessed the firstborn Israelites because of what happened in Egypt, of God uh, taking the firstborn of the Egyptians because of the plagues and Pharaoh's uh, inability to compromise and, and to obey. Verse 15, God commands a census to be taken of the Levites. So in chapter 1, verse 49 through 50, God says to not number the Levites because they have a special role. And I know this may seem like a strong contradiction, but um, as we go further, uh, we're going to see that it's this is just a difference. This was a different type of uh, assignment. So um, he says, don't number them. But in Numbers chapter 3, verse 14 and 15, God tells Moses to number the Levites, even though in Numbers 1, he says, don't number them. 
this is not specifically a contradiction. This is just uh, God didn't want them to be counted as a part of the military force. He wanted them to be have a special role to guard the tabernacle and to protect it. And so um, this could have been communicated better or written better, but this isn't a contradiction. It's just God didn't want them to be counted right then when they were counting the other military forces. So he explicitly states the Levites should have the task of overseeing the tabernacle. And number three, verse 15, the numbers of all Levite clans recorded the males as being one year and up. Verse 17 through 20, uh, list the family names under the under Levi. The three main family tribes or family clans are the Gershons, the Kohaths, and the Mararis. Gershons have two family names that are mentioned in verse 23. At verse 21 through 23, their clan has 7,500 people, and they are told to camp westward behind the tabernacle. And verses 25 through 26 list the specific duties for this family, the Gershons or the Gershonites. Then in verse 19, we have the Kohaths. The Kohaths have four family names. Verse 27, they're referred to as the, the Kohathites. In verse 28, this is counting every male one month and up, 8,600 people. Verse 29, God tells them they should camp southward of the tabernacle. And then verse 30 lists the responsibilities of the Kohathites. Verse 32 uh, sort of interrupts this and says, Eleazar, Aaron's son, should be chief over the chief of the Levites. So uh, this is something that I could have missed, but I'm not quite sure who the chief of the whole clan is. It, you know, Numbers 1 just specified there were certain leaders that were like princes over thousands. So, uh, you know, how I read this was that Eleazar, Aaron's son, was appointed over the Levite population. Then the last clan that we have is verse 33, the Merari clan, two families. Um, there are two families. And uh, verse 34 says that it, the number is 6,200 of every male, one month and over. And then verse 35 says that the clan should count north of the tabernacle. And verse 36 through 37 lists the tabernacle responsibilities that the Merari clan has. Verse 38 says Moses and his sons should camp eastward. Uh, and the note that I have here, uh, or the questions I have is, <laughs> where is Moses' wife and children? Why why hasn't Moses' children been appointed to do anything? Uh, also, where's Aaron's wife? Aaron has four children. So those are just some thoughts. But uh, Moses and Aaron and his sons are sent here to camp. Verse 39, the Levites uh, in total are 22,000. God told Moses to number the first. So the Levites, a total, all of the family clans in total of 22,000. Verse 40, God told Moses to number the firstborn of the Israelites, males a month and up. And, um, the Levites in place are taken in the place of, uh, the firstborn of the Israelites, because remember, God wanted the first one of the Israelites to be specially dedicated to him because of the plague in Egypt, where the first one were, uh, you know, God took the first born. So in verse 46, the Israelites outnumber the Levites. So God set a redemption price of the excess to be paid to Aaron. So because the Israelites uh, population outnumbers the Levites. God instructed the uh, money that money be paid, and so the total is around one hundred seventy four thousand seven hundred twenty dollars was given to Aaron, and the money was taken from the Israelites in verse fifty. So that's what happened. Uh, So the next chapter will be Numbers chapter four. Thanks for watching.